ah, the suburbs. The place where most Americans call home. The thing is, you just never know what might be lurking behind closed doors. Even in a nice, quiet, peaceful neighborhood. Take this home, for instance. This is no ordinary house. Believe it or not, this is one of the largest turtle breeding facilities in the country. And we're about to knock on their front door. As a pro bike rider, action sports announcer, and off-road adventurer, I'm always on the go. But for my true passion as a reptile breeder, I created my own sanctuary in South Florida. This is Camp Kenneth. What's up, Kenan Harkin here. I'm with Mark Cantos of The Turtle Source, and today we're gonna take a pretty amazing tour. Come on in. You're not gonna believe what you're about to see. At night, this is Mark's home where he lives and sleeps, but daytime is a whole nother story. It's an in-home office, okay. so we have a little bit of everything. This is our living room. The whole place switches to a business during the day. The dining room table becomes a packing table. <laughs> Got orders for today going out. Sean is taking care of some eggs. We just got it this morning. We just hatched out. These are our pink belly normals, salvo and I. And then we got some pink belly side necks. And this is a daily thing for you? It's this morning's hat. This morning's lay. Yeah. This way is our bedroom. Well, day bedroom. We also keep... No way. Albino pink belly side neck turtles. Way. Normally they'll all be over here. Okay. So how long have you been doing this, Mark? Since 1974. So that's 40 years because I was born in 74. Dude. How old are you, man? 52. 52. He must. He's like a tortoise or a turtle. You grow very slow and you don't look like you've aged. Since I was a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing, man. Bedroom closet also the end of our egg season. So this is the end of the egg season. End of the egg season. We probably have I don't know four or five hundred eggs left in here. <laughs> And it's better than most people's full seasons. And this, Hello. Is the, this is the brain trust of the operation. These are the ladies that make it all happen. Though. Natasha and Lauren. How are you guys doing? Hi. Say hello to Animal Bites TV there. They get the phones. Order's going out for the next few days. Okay. Over here. We also keep our desert species in here where it's, it's drier, right. cooler. Little tortoises, some leopards and stuff. Right on, man. So, you know, not only is this the nerve center of the turtle source, it's also the guest bedroom. It's a guest bedroom, exactly. Right. And the guests get to come and hang out with the tortoises well, often? Well, they, they have to sleep in the same room with a bunch of tortoises, but that's a privilege around here. I can do that. <laughs> I'm totally stunned by what I'm seeing in this house. There's a fine line between genius and nuts. And I can't decide which applies to Mark. So we try to mix a little bit of everything everywhere. Yeah. Over I here's... Breeder mud turtles. Okay. After the reeves, we've got red cheeks, three stripes, three stripes, and second generation trifurcatus, the giant Mexican moth. Giant Mexicans. Now this is fantastic, man. No predators yeah, are getting in here. This is really good wire. We work really exclusively with this stuff. It's super strong, super super hardy. And 20 years later, it's dull outside gotcha. in Florida, which is amazing because 20 years later, I mean, this is vinyl coated wire, keeps raccoons, all the predators yeah, out. Everything. I love these are all tortoise enclosures. These are drier species. It looks like you got some Hermans and Greeks. It, exactly. And we've got we've got some Russians, Hermans, Greeks, and Redfoots. If you look at the roof, the way we have it set up, there's a one foot slot out of the 16 that allows for that ray, that one foot wide ray of sun to go all the way through the cage during the day so the turtles and tortoises can always get sun, but they won't get that much rain on them. And in Florida, that's a problem with those drier species of tortoises. On, on this side over here, uh, I love it. This female Indian star tortoise, when her okay. eggs hatched out a couple months ago, that was our 66 species of turtles and 66 tortoises. 66 species. Exactly, there's 250 something species in the world. When you take out sea turtles, that cuts you down to about 230. Oops, she's and a little lighter now. there's a the fertilization right. part of our project. And when her eggs hatched out, four of them, that made it 66 different species. We've gotten more That's eggs awesome, since. Man. You look the way we have it set up, there's all kinds of shade because mm -hmm. it's so hot here in the summer. But we try to keep all the rain contained. Feeds our system. Here's our 65th species. This was Japanese wood turtles. Recently been protected by CITES. So their value shot up quite a bit. And luckily we were doing those already. And you are a breeding facility. That's, That's what, what you're do. doing here. That's what we do. We, we breed turtles and tortoises. We raise them up and we 
get them out to people all over the country who want to keep turtles and tortoises just like I did when I was a kid and you probably did as well. Amen. And here's a screen room that we've developed. Keeps all the predators out. And if you look inside, it's, it's just over eight foot by 28 foot. Okay. Turtles and tortoises everywhere. Oh man. Uh, heaven on earth. So in here, we've got more turtles and tortoises per square foot than any other place in the world. <laughs> Neatly set up, clean, healthy. We've got 21 cages across the bottom. When Jason pulls open a gate valve, they'll all drain out in less than two minutes. It'll take them, it'll take them five or six more minutes to rinse them all out. So he'll have it refilled in about 20 minutes while he can be doing other things, and he can do that's roughly two days work right there. But in, there's in something something I'm noticing here that seems very important to me is this is all custom, man. Like oh, yeah. you guys built everything. Oh, this yeah. is not like you went to the pet store yeah. and got it's, these it's tubs. A, it's a complete wet room. It can, everything can be sprayed down. And every turtle and tortoise has got a nice clean drain, basking areas, ample room space, maximum water, so you've got uh, the, the best cleaning system going on. And they're all begging for food, it's so funny. They are, everything's yeah. gotta be labeled, the amounts gotta be exactly right, everything's checked constantly, make sure they're getting yeah. the right food, the right everything, and when you've got that many species, you've gotta remember which, which gets which to eat. Yep. You know, which which has which requirements and everything's got to be just so and, and you can get it that way. And like I say, he can do he can do in an hour what you can do in about three, four days wow. or that way. But that's just planning. And if you look underneath, you've even got we've got stuff underneath everywhere you look. These turtles and tortoises tucked underneath. Well, the soft shell. And they're, they're all on they're all on, on moving skids so he can bring them right over the sink without having to, to, to work too hard. Everywhere under everything. And here you've got snappers separated so they can't eat each other's tails but can be easily cleaned. Every compartment separated. We've got all kinds of hypo snappers, different color morphs, cinnamon snappers, all separated. Everything by, by color, size, sex, and different breeders. Keep our outside tortoises in here, more over here. Different holding facilities for everything. I mean, we, we have on our website over 600 types of turtles and tortoises. So if somebody wants a hatchling, they get a hatchling. If next year they want a yearling, we've got the yearlings growing up. If they need a two-year-old, a three-year-old, we've got it. If they need different, different sexes, we've got everything. We've got normals, color morphs, everything you can think of. But just to get to that point has taken years because we're talking turtles now. It's not something that grows up in like a couple of, you know, Two years, it's very difficult to have a breeding tortoise. It was, it was a labor of love. Yeah. You know, when I first moved in here, I managed a large wholesale company. And I'd always build stuff on my weekends, build stuff at night, and that sort of thing. So now it's to the point now, you know, we've, we've got a good handful of team working here. Uh, Jason can clean this room. He can do what I used to do in probably four or five days' work he can do in one day. And he's got a better handle on it. It's under better circumstances. Well, let's go out this way here. All right, uh, let's do it. There's obviously so much more to see and we just don't have the time. But before we leave, Mark, I want to see a snake neck. It's been a long time since I've seen a good old fashioned snake neck here. Well, these, I... are, these are our breeder Indonesian snake neck turtles. Okay. They're really cool. They're hard to find, but they're really cool because... Can I get dirty with you? Yeah, we'll see if you can find one. And they're laying eggs right now. And so there's an Argentine side neck. Okay, I think I've got one. The neck, is, oh, the neck and head God. is longer than the yes. turtle itself. Take a look at that. How, the, how about that? Now that's a big male. That's you know, incredible. Females are even bigger. But like I say, the, the neck and head is longer than the turtle shell itself. And uh, they're super predators. Definitely. That man. neck, they can shoot out and take down a fish like it's nothing. No big deal. So there you have it, folks. A whirlwind tour with Mark Cantos of the Turtle Source. And we're finishing up with a snake neck. Just don't get too close with your face because they'll get you. See you next time. And if you're interested in seeing a few of Mark's two-headed turtles, be sure to check out the Camp Kennan channel on YouTube for this week's bonus video.